one of the problems that GNCs had was to do with the university fees. And if I had a, access to President William Samue Arap Ruto, I'd have said that this thing should be properly investigated and the officer concerned should be taken action. Uh, disciplinary, yes. Criminally, maybe. If evidence shows he had a criminal intention, then it has to happen. Among the things that the agencies were complaining of was that those students who are joining public universities in September of 2024 had received a letter informing them that they were going to join the universities and pay a fee of 300,000 per year. That letter was given to the soon-to-be freshmen and it was withdrawn. Now the question is, who authored that letter and why did he or she author the letter? Because one of the problems that the agencies have had and with the deadly consequences was because of that letter. Whoever authored it, whoever distributed it, now, let us not go into the system of saying, I was given a letter to distribute. No. <coughs> In the police, we have something called disobeying a lawful command. What does this say? It says that if you are given a command that is not lawful, you are not bound to follow it. Now, if you want to tell me that somebody there wrote a letter, gave it to various people, A gave it to B, B gave it to C, and it even reached G. You want to tell me all those people on that line they did not know that this letter was wrong? Now, there are three systems I'll, I'll divide into. There are these students who are joining in September 2024. We have students who joined in September 2023. And we have students who in uh, September 2024, they'll either be on their third year or fourth year in the university. The, the university funding in public universities is in three forms. Those in the third year and those in the fourth year are undergoing a very different type of uh, university funding, of which I will talk about. Then there is those who joined the university in September 2023, and in September 2024, they are going on the second year. They have a different form. And we now have, those joining in September, a third different form. Let us take those who are going for second year. Those who are going for second year in September 2024. When they joined the universities, public universities, this is how it was. First of all, COOPS, COOPS uh, uh, allocate you a university and a degree. They say, okay, you are going to this or that university for this or that degree. If you don't want to go to that university, or if you don't want to go to that degree, because we have people who are qualified for certain degree, but because of the demand, they were they had to be selected on the second or third selection. Now, if say you wanted to study engineering, and you are qualified to study engineering, but then the coops allocate several students, and the cutoff is. 
above you. For example, you are 3,000 people who are qualified to study engineering, but the, the COOPs can only allocate for 2,000. Yes, you are qualified, but COOPs has not placed there. So you turn to household, you turn to your family, you turn to your friends, you turn to everybody. And you, they agree to take you now as a self-sponsored student. If you go there as a self-sponsored student, that is when you pay the whole... Okay, engineering is not 300. 300 is for things like, uh, is it a Bachelor of Education? Engineering and the medicine is about 500, half a million per year. <coughs> you get me? Now, you have been called for this degree, but you insist you want to go for uh, engineering, you want to go for medicine, but the cops have not taken you. So you go there as a self-sponsored student. Now, what problem was brought about by Gene C? Or to a deadly problem. One of them was that the letters had been sent to people joining universities and they were told that henceforth you will pay the whole fees. And it was not that way. It is only after the letter had arrived to the students. You see, if it was apprehended somewhere on the way and returned, nobody would have known it. Even I would not have known it. But these students who are joining first year in September 2024 were told that you are going to join the university and pay 300, between 300 and 500 per year. Whoever, whoever wrote that knew that it was false. And uh, if, if, if one, may, one, may, one may be excused if one believes that this is something that was planned to sabotage, and it, it was sabotage. Maybe GC was not even a coincidence. Allow me now to talk about the second year, September 2024. Who are first year, uh, September 2024? And with due respect to Kisi University, I want to give an example of Kisi University because I have to give an example of one university. I'm not saying that Kisi University has done that. No, it is only for academic reason. In September 2023, Kisi University invited 8,000 freshmen to join the university. After the registration, after the students have been admitted, 1,000 did not turn up. 7,000 turned up. And I'm only giving an example of Kisi University. Now, we have completed one year. Those 1,000 have not come. Why did they not come? There are several reasons. One I've given, maybe the student wants to undertake another degree course from his or her pocket. We have cases of students who are qualified to join universities but decided to go to TVET. We have students who feel that if they continue with their education and they come from poor background, their siblings would not be educated. Their parents would not eat. So they decided that instead of going on, they volunteer not to continue with education, so as to look into their family issues. What was the system that was being used by those students who were third year and fourth year in 2024? September 2024. Let's say the university, the COOPS, places 8,000 students in a university. 8,000. 7,000 report. But the university is paid money uh, for the 1,000 who do not report. Then we go to second year. Because of various reasons, one of them is that some students may fail, some students may repeat, some students may die, some students may, so many reasons. 
you don't expect that the 7,000 students who are there in the first year will still be the same number. There will be a reduction. The reduction changes from year to year. So that you find that an example that I've given, at the end of the, when, that, when the 2023 class graduates, 2023, 2024, 2025, 2026, in September, in August 2026, when this class graduates, you may find that out of the 8,000 that were called, 6,000 are graduating. So you'll find that the government has been paying, the government has been paying for 2,000 ghost students. So that is why the government came up with a system that each year, every student who has to re, who has to return to the school and uh, go to this, let, let's, for example, your second year, you are going for third year, you have to reapply again to, 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 to help so as to show that you are still there. How many of us can discontinue with the university and you start signing so that the university gets free money? Well, of course, they are there, one in a million, but uh, the government would have saved a lot of money. And in the class that took, that was taken in 2023, they were divided into four groups. They were divided into four groups, uh, whereby there are two groups that the student, the, there was one group that the student did not pay anything the whole uni the whole four years it was decided this way that those who are physically disabled people living with a disability or whose parents and or guardians are living with disabilities pupils from very poor backgrounds everything will be paid off and they pay nothing that is group number one Group number two, everything will be paid, but the student will have to, after getting employed, the student will have to pay for some, some money. And then there was group number three and four, which consisted that the family or the household, they use the word household, pay 7%, 7% of the fees. So you find that the student would pay, if, if the student is, 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 the fees is 300, the student would pay 21,000, 21,000 per year. Now the university, you find it is cheaper than secondary school, but the university, there are problems with uh, accommodation, problem with um, feeding and so on. But on the matter of school fees, it is well and okay for all the three. Now, what the government did this particular year and these students who are going there, they expanded the groups into five. Now, how they added the fifth group, I don't know. But if they were to use the former system of four, is that the highest pay? Now, uh, let's take the the, low, the, the the highest paying student from household, from household. When you reopen the university on the first semester, not the second semester, the first semester, the student is supposed to carry 7% of the money as school fees. Now, 7% of 300, that is 21, isn't it? And 7% of uh, 500, of half a million, that is 35,000. But whoever took, whoever took that letter and distributed to students and letter recalled, they should investigate that person. Because the blood of those students, agencies, young people who died, partly is on them. I have only covered on the help. I'll cover each and every topic you may find that some of the things that the agencies were complaining about, uh, if, there was a, uh, if there, was no, uh, there was no sabotage, and if the government had a proper channel of communication, 
then we would not have had the Saba Saba. Pole for those who lost their loved ones. Nothing can replace them. Thank you.